Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use rigid bodies with MoGraph and connectors. In this simplified scene, I have these two cloners, one for the outer and one for the inner. And I want to control the outer ones using MoGraph, and I want the inner ones to slide left or right. So first of all, let's select these two objects, right click, and let's go to the simulation tag, make them rigid bodies. And in order to apply control from external sources like keyframes and MoGraph, go to the rigid body tag forces and increase the follow position and follow rotation only for the one you want to control. The other one is going to follow suit using simulations. Now, the other thing I'd like you to do is select both rigid body tags and go to the dynamics tab. And what you need to do is go down here and deactivate the deactivations so that they don't fall asleep. Now, let's go and add a connector. Go to the simulate and let's go to connectors and add a linear connector. I'm going to convert it to a wheel suspension and I'm going to orient it in this direction. And uh, this uh, will allow these to go left and right. So let's go to the connector. Let's drag the outer and the inner. Then we need to go and make sure that the connection doesn't happen through the index, but through the distance and increase it until you see one set for each clone pair. If you make it too large, it's going to connect the others and it's not going to work. So just find that sweet spot. Now let's go and add couple of limits so they stop at the limits of the blue cube that will be minus 75 and 75 fantastic and i'm going to make the suspension stiffness a bit smaller excellent now the placement settings down here just make the orientation follow object a now let's go to the outer let's go to mograph and bring up a plane effector change the parameter to rotation and let's make this 60 degrees let's go to the field list, unclamp it so we can get negative values, add a linear field. Let's remap the linear field down here using a curve, scroll down, right click, and uh, let's get a sign and make sure that the minimum value for this field is a minus 100. So when this moves through, they will go one way, then they'll go the other way and just make it a bit bigger. I'm going to move it over here. Now let's see how this is going to work. Make sure your connections are all in place and uh, let's increase this number and let's press play select this and move it this way now you can see that the clones are not moving and that's because the orientation of our suspension is actually not the correct one just select this and press r for rotate and just rotate it 90 degrees in that direction the suspension requires a specific rotation to work the way it's expected so get the move tool, rewind, press play, and move your field through. And there you have it. This is what your little cubes are doing. If you want to change the number of clones, just select both clones. Go increase the number. Let's make it uh, five by five. But don't forget, you need to rewind to reset the simulation. Move your linear field to the side and go to the connector. You can see everything now seems to be a mess. Go all the way down and recreate these. And now if I press play, select this and move it around, it's going to work again. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.